Good morning, friends. It is Monday morning. We are about to head out the door for Cabo, but I just wanted to get on here and get this vlog started. I'm gonna take you guys along through my week in Cabo. Like I said, it's gonna be more fun than a prep focus vlog, but I am still staying on track. There's a couple things I'm doing. I am staying at an all-inclusive resort, so I'm not going to go out of my way to like go get food or do anything like that. I'm just gonna focus on getting the best options that my resort has and ask if they can make a little bit of substitutions. I re don't really ever know when it comes to all-inclusive resorts, like how much you can kind of swap out and change because it's not like a like a restaurant restaurant but like it kind of is i i really don't know like what the proper like etiquette is around that so i'm gonna see if they can like give me some chicken breasts and if like if we can't do anything like that i'm just gonna pick the best options that i have and work with that i'm gonna try to stay super super active that's my big thing i am gonna hit the gym for my cardio and get a little lift and i know the resort has like a little gym which is more than enough like dumbbells and treadmills and all that so get a little gym session in every day stay active while i'm there you know play volleyball swim do all of the things go on walks and just really take some time to relax so i am really excited and i'm excited to bring you guys along i don't know if it's gonna be very interesting my cats are of course playing with something i don't know if it's gonna be very interesting or if i'm gonna have a lot to vlog but I will do my best to show you guys everything along the way and keep you guys updated. So we're about to head out to the airport now. Um, of course, me being me rushing for absolutely no reason, but we're about to hit the airport now. Gonna grab a coffee, much needed. And yeah, I'll update you guys when either we're in Cabo or I have something to update you guys about. I'll give you guys a little fit check. Don't mind all of our packing, but I'm wearing this little jumpsuit, which I love. I have it in this version and the flared version, but it's just like a little little tank top and it is from Aritzia. And then this Target flannel that I've literally had for years and I wear all the time. And then of course, I hate being one of these girls, but like it's just so convenient to like just have here, especially when you're traveling. You don't have to reach in, into your backpack every five seconds. It's just passports, card, gum, anything you need is right here, so. Oh, they can't get my whole self in the frame. There's the fit check. We are here in Cabo. We stay at Breathless, which is so nice because it's right on the marina, so right outside of our room we have this little balcony and it's so beautiful um we love staying here the people are so nice the employees are so nice so we just got here um a little bit ago we went and we ate because we were starving and like the lunch hour was just about to end it was like it ended at five and we got here at like four so we like ran to go eat real quick had a really quick bite to eat um, and just kind of walked around and now we are, we're big chilling. It's a little cold, as you can see, it's like cloudy out, but it's still nice to like get away and just have a relaxing vacation. So we're probably just gonna chill out for the rest of the night, not really do anything too crazy. Um, go have some dinner and then probably honestly go to bed fairly early just because we're both so tired from traveling the past weekend and today. So. Just have a chill night and then tomorrow we'll see we'll see what fun brings us tomorrow and i will share that with you guys and bring you guys along good morning guys it is tuesday i woke up this morning and i went off to do my cardio i'm going to go do my lift a little bit later during that like time where it kind of gets cooler out but you're not quite ready for dinner so you don't really have anything to do so i'm going to do my lift during that time because i want to go lay on the beach and relax had breakfast this morning and i was going to show you guys but your girl was starving i was like literally shaking um so first priority was food at that point but it's really nice because they have this restaurant that's kind of like a breakfast buffet but they have an omelet station where they can make you omelets you just get 
like extra egg whites, a little bit of their cheese and their turkey ham, which I don't know. It's turkey ham. Don't really know what it is, but we get it and it's high in protein. So just trying to keep my meals like higher in protein and a little bit on the lighter side because I know like a lot of the the other meals I'm going to be eating are going to be higher in fats and whatnot because I eat a fairly, fairly low fat diet with my macros. So I'm just going to keep things super light for like breakfast and lunch. And even the coffee place here has like a protein shake. So I think I'm just going to get that after my lift, keep things really light because I just don't want to feel like crap. <laughs> Last night, um, I was super hungry. So we went to the restaurant and I think it's just having higher fat foods than I'm normal, but I had some like acid reflux last night and like kind of didn't feel the best. So I'm just going to be cautious of that because I don't want to feel like crap, obviously. It's not really about the macros at that point. It's just kind of like I want to feel good. No one likes to lay in bed with acid reflux. It wasn't even anything crazy. I think we got like hummus, flawful, and I got like a chicken shawarma wrap, but just still higher in fat than what I'm used to, but it was literally so good. Um, but I'm all over the place. Back to breakfast. Breakfast, I also had a bunch of cantaloupe and some breakfast potatoes, and then they did have hard boiled eggs. So I took some of those and had the egg whites from them. So these people were probably like, what is this girl doing? Like eating all of the protein because something that I realized and I never really noticed until I was a bodybuilder and tracked macros, but Portion sizes when it comes to protein when you're eating places, non-existent. I remember I went to my friend's little wedding reception one time and everyone, so the, the chicken option that they had, it was like this big of a piece of chicken. Like I'm talking like two ounces of chicken. And I was like asking everyone, I'm like, can I have your chicken? Can I have your chicken? Cause like, I'm like a, a five, six ounces of chicken at a time kind of person. Like a two ounce piece of chicken. Like is, how is that filling anyone? But Anyways, um, that's my rant there. But I'm going to try to show you guys as much as possible today. If I remember, we're literally just gonna be like sitting on the beach. So I'll show you guys that the water is just a little cold, but I think I could do it. I think I could go in. It's gonna be kind of cloudy today, so I don't know. Um, the sunrises here are absolutely beautiful. Like they're like red and the pool area is like perfectly overlooking the sunrise. So we're gonna go shoot there tomorrow morning during sunrise when like no one's up yet and it's gonna be I cannot wait to take those pictures but yeah I'm all over the place rambling of course what's new welcome if you're new here this is just what happens here we just ramble <laughs> did some legs I tried to film but there was it just didn't work it's a small gym nowhere to put my phone check out the weird dogs okay but anyways got a protein shake how convenient the little cafe has a protein shake so hopefully that doesn't wreck my stomach because it is way <laughs> rest in peace my stomach um but we're improvising now probably just gonna chill it's like kind of rainy out, so I don't know, I'm gonna chill and then, yeah. So we just went down and tried to catch the sunrise for pics, but it's too cloudy. So now we are sitting here with some coffee, just chilling. We really haven't done anything because yesterday it was so cloudy, but today hopefully it's not going to be as cloudy. We can actually go not sit inside because it did rain yesterday too, but um, I'm going to show you guys everything that I'm eating today because I found the best options yesterday. So I think I'm just going to eat the same thing again. I know boring, but you know how I am, especially with this whole trying to eat as healthy as possible. I finally found like what I think is a good mix of health, healthy and still, still a little fun. So this uh, little cafe here has these coffees and they are literally crack. They are so good. I know they're not 100% like sugar-free zero and they, they probably don't use unsweetened almond milk, but at the end of the day, 
we pick our poison, right? So I had one of these crack coffees this morning. Gonna do my cardio here in a sec and then probably gonna grab another coffee. And then we've been walking around the marina in the mornings, which is really nice. So we're gonna walk around the marina and just enjoy the morning and then get breakfast probably, so. Okay, breakfast here. We have a plate of fruit and potatoes for my carbs. And then I have an omelet here with just egg whites, cheese, and the turkey ham that they have. Um, not sure what it is, but turkey ham. <laughs> Okay, workout is done. Had Tori film for me, thank God. So I'm gonna post those clips, but I got a, another protein shake and I did eat an apple while I was waiting for this, but I didn't film it. So I had an apple. Also snacked on some fruit cups in the room before my lift, so lots of fruit. So it's been like super cold. I don't know if you can hear me over the waves, but it's been like super cold, super cold. By super cold, I mean like 70 degrees, but it's like cloudy. So we've just been laying here on the beach, like fully clothed, but hopefully the sun comes out soon. So we can like at least have our ass out and shake our ass in the sun. I don't know what I'm trying to do here, but. <laughs> <laughs> I just replayed that clip in my obnoxious gum chewing. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but it's it's not gonna stop because I got this really good gum. It's like watermelon. How dope! <laughs> Tori's like watching me. Why are you watching me? <laughs> We just laid on the beach for literal hours. I think I got a little bit of sunburn even though it was cloudy, but now, of course, the sun came out and we just wanted to get some food. So I came to one of the restaurants and I asked for just a plate of grilled chicken. <laughs> and the way this waiter looked at me, he was like, this emoji, no tortilla? <laughs> you want guacamole? I was like, no, I just, just chicken, please. So we'll see what he brings me. Okay, update, they did in fact bring me a plate of chicken and it looked so good that I didn't film it. So I literally just downed that. And finally, the sun is out. When we decide to come inside from the beach, the sun comes out, of course, right? But this is why we came here. This is the energy we needed and it's been cloudy for the past like two and a half days, so. Now the sun's gonna be out for the rest of our trip and I'm so excited because I literally could just sit in the sun for five days and it would be worth it for me just because we we don't get a lot of sun in our apartment. That's a, that's a topic for another time, but just here soaking up the vibes, just gonna chill. So I just kind of took an L on filming dinner. I tried, tried my best, tried my best, but I ended up having the um, tuna sushi, I can't fucking say it. I ended up having the tuna sushi, 
<laughs> I ended up having the tuna sashimi and then I had, it was just a chicken breast, but I was clearly hungry and finished it before I started recording. So yeah. And then me and Tori did end up sharing a little peanut butter dessert, which was really good, but it was like literally this big. We like split it in half, but that is kind of how I've been eating um, since I've been here. If you've noticed, again, just keeping it light throughout my breakfast and other meals and then dinner is more of like a full meal, but still really just focusing on protein to keep me full and satisfied. But at the same time, still like enjoying things. Like we split a dessert every night and I have my coffees during the day and the food here is just like really good. Like the chicken even is just like, and since I discovered today that they will just give me a plate of chicken, now I don't have to drink those protein shakes because I, I don't drink whey and it was my only option and my stomach has been hurting a little bit from drinking that whey protein shake so very very happy that I won't have to drink that I mean at least tomorrow I was gonna say going forward but tomorrow I'm just gonna get chicken instead of that so yeah that's kind of how I've been eating and I'm gonna eat the same way tomorrow I'm very very excited because tomorrow is finally a full sunny day maybe our last day but at least we're gonna get one full sunny day so I'm planning on hitting the gym in the morning, getting that out of the way early so I can have the entire day just to swim and lay in the sun and just relax. So I will show you guys that tomorrow. Right. Yeah. Good morning, guys. It is our last full day here. Finally have a beautiful sunny day. So like I said yesterday, just really gonna soak up the sun today, lay on the beach, read a book, chill, maybe get in the water. I don't know, it's kind of cold. As you can see this morning, I did jump in the water. So um, it took me about a full like two hours to warm up from that. Is that my phone? No, that's not my phone. Anyways, it took me like so long to warm up for that. I stood in the shower for like half an hour, but it was really, really nice. And I love just jumping in the ocean. It's one of my favorite things. I just love the water so much. So felt the need to do that. I'm glad I did. Maybe I'll do it again tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe I'll get in the water today. Who knows? But I really don't know how much I'm going to show of today. I'm going to still try to show as much as possible, but I don't want this to be like super repetitive and boring because honestly, we're not doing a ton of like, crazy excursions or adventures or anything literally like i've been saying just kind of like rest relax reset recharge kind of thing so excited to be able to do that today but just got done doing cardio we're gonna go have breakfast here in a sec same thing i've been eating the whole time so no need to really show you guys that um and then we're gonna head down to the beach <laughs> There's this little market down the street that sells monsters <laughs> and i've been getting one every day and they're like eight dollars okay that's exaggerating they're like 650 because obviously they're imported but if you know me you know i need it <laughs> okay guys i'm just gonna go ahead and take the l i'm gonna take the l i don't know if you can see this but uh we did in fact i don't know hold on let's see you did in fact uh, get a little a little sun today. Me and my pale skin just burns, but hopefully it's like one of those burns that like go away as the day goes on, but I'm not trying to be in pain on the plane tomorrow. No, we'll see, pray for me. <laughs> sunburned face oh my god it is 
it is so bad and you can definitely tell like what side of my face the sun was on this just happens every time every time i'm in the sun i just get horribly sunburned no matter how much sunscreen i put on horribly sunburned my body is bad and especially on like this side of my body because that's the side the sun was on but you know it is what it is i deal with this all the time just the perks of being a white ass bitch um but yeah we are going home today i just cleaned up the room and packed up all of my clothes um very ready to get home back in my routine did have a great time just relaxed i honestly i feel like i didn't film that much other than like my food and me talking but to be honest we really didn't do much um i didn't really have anything planned or things that i wanted to do i really just wanted to come and lay on the beach and just chill out and not have to think for a couple days which is exactly what i did so it was a good trip but i am very ready to get home back to my routine back to the gym back to my cats back to my food very ready i feel really good um but yeah so overall i feel like i did a really really good job about not going crazy with food i didn't feel the want or need to go crazy with food i kind of was just satisfied the entire time and i felt really good and i still feel really good i'm up like two pounds which is probably just honestly water retention um, my muscles are probably holding some water a little bit fuller from a little bit more food than what i'm used to but i'm feeling really good really happy can't wait for check-ins on tuesday just to assess the situation and see what's going on but i am a couple days back on my routine and i should be back down to where i was before i left so really excited and really happy and proud of myself for that just because in the past I have struggled a lot with food as a lot of competitors do, um, just because it's it, it just happens, you know, post show and everything. So it was something I was a little nervous about going into this trip, but I'm really proud of myself and I feel like I did a really good job, um, not only keeping things under control, but also not feeling restricted and feeling fine. Like this, well, we've had dessert every single night, which obviously helps. I've had bites of Tori's stuff. I didn't necessarily like restrict myself at any point, just kind of made smart choices. And I'm, I, I feel really good about everything. So I'm happy about that. But yeah, it's definitely something I'll talk about into my off season um, as I do have those struggles and I do want to open up about it because it is something that a lot of people, especially competitors struggle with and something that I've definitely struggled with, especially in this last off season. But that's a topic for another time. Overall, just really happy, really proud. I feel really, really good and refreshed and ready to get back to the motherfucking grind. So I don't know if I'm going to vlog anymore. We just have a travel day back home. Not much to show. Gonna go run to the grocery store when I'm home, pick up the essentials for the week and meal prep once I get home. So busy day today, not just traveling, but getting myself ready for the, the week. It's Friday, but the week ahead of me getting myself ready and prepared so i can just hit the ground running back on track with everything but i hope you guys did enjoy my cabo vlog i know again not super crazy not super exciting not probably like most people's trips to cabo where they're out partying and going adventuring and doing all that just a rest and a relaxed trip as i've said a million times in this vlog but hopefully you've enjoyed it um now we are back to the grind once i get home so next week's vlog will be obviously back to normal and i will show you guys what's up in that vlog so thank you so much for watching if you do like my videos if you want to follow the rest of my prep please subscribe to my channel i will be posting new videos every week and hopefully you can hear me over whatever's going on out here but goodbye cabo goodbye vlog and i'll catch you in the next one